Let's have a look at the top goal scorers for the State League and uh, have a look at that. Mr Markovic, absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, 16 goals. Look, he scores just about every match. And when he doesn't score, why doesn't he? Because he's injured. He's yeah. not playing. You know, absolutely brilliant guy. Michael Edwards also very doing very well for Northern Demons. Great pick up there for them on 13. Shane Pearce on 12 for Salisbury United. You know, doing very well. We're going to be speaking to Shane in a couple of weeks' time. He's going to come on the show as well. So we'll speak to him about him scoring. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Costa on the 10 from Sassy, as is Francesco Monterosa on nine, both from Sassy, and then two guys from NAB, which is good to see. Guys, you were talking about Marco Scalzi and Vince Scamizzi on seven and five, respectively, Aggie. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, uh, it's good to see. Obviously, uh, there's quite a, a number of uh, good strikers, and uh, let's face it, it doesn't matter whether you're in the State League, the Premium League, or the Super League, we want to see the uh, uh, strikers really hit the, the goal straps, and uh, I suppose some of the teams, especially in the Super League, are really wanting to have uh, a super striker like a Jason Tromboli and a Michael Brooks. Oh. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll see a bit more from Brooksy in the coming weeks. Yeah. And Markovic, Peter, um, doing well. He's a fantastic guy. Gets on the ball a little bit. Not doesn't play like Mori, but he's able to get onto a ball and put him away. I wish they were very lucky to have a, a player like uh, Markovic. And, and for, the, for their plans, they need players like that to, to go up into the next leagues. Definitely. Look, guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut us short again. We are a fast-moving oh, show. Oh, gee. Uh, coming we were just right moving up. up. I know, it's unbelievable. Coming right up, we've got our Spotlight segment, and we're going to be talking all things sports cap. Oh, really? So stick with us, because you're watching Foot on Football. Here we go. All right. Bianco Building Supply. Welcome back to Full On Football here with the Sports Cap panel, Aggie Simeone, Fiani Sorensen and uh, Peter Clemente. Have you taken a breath yet, guys? No. <laughs> we're, we're, just in awe, we're in awe of you. Oh, look, I, look, I, I we can We just love the way you just move the show and drive it. We thought we could talk fast on Sports Cap, but you're just throwing us up. <laughs> oh, look, it's all fun and games. Look, uh, Peter, I wanted to ask, look, we're just going to focus a bit on Sports Cap. How did you come up with the show and how did you get it to go on air? I'll just tell the truth. We were uh, at a cafe and we, we, we used to get together with a bunch of guys and just talk sport. And what we found invariably was other tables used to join in on the conversations. So we thought, geez, this is great, great for a radio show. So we put a, a proposal together, went to a few radio stations, and lo and behold, Sports Cap was born. And it was great. We've, we've had a mountain of fun since it started in 2000. And look, I really suggest for people to go out there to, and listen, have a listen. As I said, 6 to 8 on 88.7 Coast FM on a Thursday night. It's really interesting stuff. You have some great interviews and, and, and you just talk general sports. Aggie, you've been there with Peter. Um, what makes the show so unique? I suppose what makes the show so unique you is guys. that... Like, <laughs> Apart from us guys, even though you can't see us, but... Uh, We're in there nude at times, aren't we? They can now, <laughs> they can see you now. Far too much oh information, boys. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I suppose the uniqueness is the fact that, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun at the same time. It does get a bit heated and serious. And the other thing is we've got a lot of people that do ring in and they want their opportunity to voice their opinions. Whether we agree with them or not, that's another thing, because Peter's always there making sure he's got the finger on the button just in Controlling case. Controlling you, Aggie. Exactly. <laughs> well, but uh, one of the best things is that we've had so many wonderful interviews, and I suppose the one that stands out is the late Eddie Charlton yeah. and uh, many others sporting star. That, David Campisi, uh, you know, Andrew Gaze from his car phone, I mean, that uh, was a great interview, and Terry Wallace just ready to go into a, a press conference an interview. He said, uh, you got five minutes, boys. Go for it. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Now, Fiona, if I want to start to heat things up, I just have to say I go for Port Adelaide. You're a Christ fan. So here we go. We're going to start. Biffo. Don't start with me. Look, at the end of the day, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not a Port supporter. And no. I think any listener to, to Sports Cap on Coast FM will know that. Um, and I guess I like to talk a lot about uh, junior sport. Um, mm. That's my big focus. I'm involved in a lot of junior sport. Um, 
the really great thing about Coast FM, same as uh, Channel C31, we are a community radio station, so we can talk all sports. Mm. And, you know, clubs out there, State League, Super League, Premier League, if they want to get information to us, if, if they want to talk about anything to do with their club, we're more than happy to give them some time on air. Exactly, and that's what we say here. Full on football is a voice for everyone, and everyone has a voice. And that it, that's what it is with community: is everything starts at a community level. And I think it's uh, for you personally, being a woman. As I said before, being a woman in a man's world of sport, I think is fantastic. I think it's great. You, you've got a great general knowledge of all sports, and I commend you. That the hard part is having to put up with these two guys on air. That she is fantastic. I like to commend. What Fiona does and has done for our show over the whole eight years, she's fantastic, and she's got a strong audience just in, on a, in her own right. So, to, to Fiona, thank you. You did that one, <laughs> did I? I do because Fiona is uh, from day one. She's been uh, a real blessing, and uh, the passion actually comes out. And uh, uh, not only on, with Fiona, there's a lot of other people that are behind the sports cap. It's not just us three. There's mm. a, probably another six or seven. And uh, look. We're having a lot of fun and we hope that, uh, like your show, that we're entertaining and bringing something to the people. Well, I'll tell you, when I gave you the invite, it was really hard. I thought, oh my goodness, who, which three are going to come on? Because there's so many of you there that yeah. do the show. And it is, as I said, have a listen to it every Thursday night, 6 till 8 on 88.7 Coast FM, Sports Cap. You're going to find it really interesting. Um, a lot of light-hearted humour, uh, as we said, a lot of... Uh, bit of biffo in between there and uh, yep. I think it's fantastic and you do a great job and I thank do you. say thank you very much for providing that entertainment to our radio listeners. We're going to take another break guys and when we come back we're going to wrap up the show for tonight so stick with us. Here we go.